Breakout Labs is a revolving fund of philanthropic dollars out of the Teal Foundation that we started to help seed fund early stage radical science and technology companies. So the guys that are really trying to take hard science and hard tech out of the lab and into the economy. We're able to fund them up to $350,000 to work against very specific scientific milestones. And the hope is that upon achieving those milestones, they're in a much better position to try to attract either government grants, angel investors, start to move towards a series A, maybe strategic partners, to continue to advance the technology and build out the company. What we're seeing in the entrepreneurs who have said, I have an idea or I've got IP and I want to engage in the intersection of technology and biology, is that there's a lot more opportunities for them to do so in an efficient, cost-effective manner now than there have been in the past. We've got places like in San Francisco, like QB3 or Berkeley Biocenter. There's a number of different options where you can rent a lab bench in a space and be with other entrepreneurs. And it's lowering the cost of getting started. Access is opening up and the ability to work efficiently is opening up. Um, you have startups like Science Exchange where you're able to outsource your experiments in a really cost-effective manner and have some of the best labs and the best resources in the country, core facilities, actually doing your work for you, um, which has meant these companies can move forward faster, um, but it's still very hard for them to attract that early stage capital while they've got substantial technological and scientific risks still in the companies. We have companies that are working on things like biofabrication, so being able to actually make meat and leather and products that in the past we've thought were inherently attached to natural resources, whether they're you know, trees or cows or pigs. Um, and I think the manufacturing of the future will be a version of this biofabrication, which has the ability to dramatically change manufacturing, how it impacts the environment. What if we could remove all the petrochemicals that we rely on in our food chain, which nobody even thinks about where our flavors and fragrances come from, those are typically chemicals and petrochemically derived. Um, so I think we have the opportunity to actually replace some of those aspects in our food chain with actually a more natural product. We've got opportunities that will disrupt traditional industries all the way to you know, these very quick universal diagnostics that we're seeing that will radically change healthcare and ideally the cost curve of healthcare. We need points of access for the technology world to be able to feel comfortable doing diligence, building out their network, seeing deal flow, understanding what it takes to move the biology startups forward. And so I think events like today that bring those two teams together will help grow that industry and hopefully attract additional funding to the bio startups that need it to move their products forward.